you have extensive digital experience. You started in digital, and now you're in, more in television. Uh, what would you say the greatest similarities are between the digital world and the television world? And then conversely, what do you think the biggest differences are? Yeah, so uh, mo moving from uh, TV, from digital to TV has been interesting. It, it was, and if I can just say one thing before that, um, before I answer your question, the reason why I did this was because I heard the pressure that the marketers had in my last job uh, at Forrester working with CMOs of uh, trying to understand the whole marketing mix, not just uh, the digital piece as a standalone. They understood that this is not a one-shot deal and we're going to move everything from one place to the other, but that they have to work together. So. Uh, looking at the similarities, the similarities are that um, uh, it's media. It's a it's a hard product to completely wrap your hands around because you don't know exactly what you're getting all the time. And digital is a little bit better than TV, but you still don't always know. Um, and uh, the similarity is that ultimately the goal is the same, which is you want to get people engaged in your uh, brand and message. The, the, the subtle difference there is that TV is more of a broad reach medium and digital is much more of an actionable medium. Um, just at a, at, a, at a superficial level, but ultimately the goal of um, TV is to reach customers just like the goal of digital. It's just just difference in the, this, the, the reach and the span of who you're trying to reach with what message. Um, the differences are substantial. I think there's probably more differences than there are similarities. Um, TV gives you emotion. TV gives you reach. TV gives you uh, a brand identity. Uh, digital has never really been proven to do those things except in very small doses. Uh, but on the other hand, digital is great for being very targeted, being able to drive sales on a moment's notice, uh, being able to be real time, which is where uh, audiences have behaved, uh, and being very flexible as a medium. It's a lot harder to create a new campaign in TV in a couple of days, whereas in digital you can create one in a couple of hours. So the differences are definitely broader than the similarities. Um, I think the intersection of that is that ultimately the goal is the same, which is to drive sales. So that's how I sort of see the, the two working together. It sounds to me then that the deficiencies of one are offset by the abilities of the other. Um, it should be fairly easy to bring them together, but it isn't. How do you think we can bring them together in a way that is comfortable for all and, and makes sense? Yeah, I think the key, going back to our, our earlier conversation, is about the measurement issue. Uh, the challenge is not, it's not that they, uh, they don't compete with each other, they do complement each other really well, actually. Um, they're actually, they're almost like media that are meant to be complementary to each other. Uh, but we haven't figured out the measurement to, or the attribution to show how the uh, customer's journey flows through them. You see a, a TV campaign, you get kind of curious, maybe two days later you do a search on the product or category or the actual brand name. Um, you get to the website, you surf around a little bit, but you don't buy at that point, or you go to Amazon or Target.com and you uh, make a decision that way, or you walk into the store. But you can't, how, how well you can attribute the, um, the, the TV campaign to the digital actions that result in the actual cash register ringing, that's where we haven't figured out the science yet to make that a perfect art. And people have taken many stabs at that, but that is where... Uh, in, within digital, within the digital sphere, people have started to understand that because you can watch people's digital footprints. Uh, but understand the impact that traditional media, whether it's TV or print, uh, is having on those on that digital footprint. That's where we still haven't figured out the science. That's always been the challenge in traditional media. You know the old saying: "I know uh, if it's uh, percent of my media. Percent of my media is more effective. I just don't know which percent." So, in some respects, all this digital, it appears to me if it can be um, matched to traditional, should make traditional better, and better than it's ever been. Yeah. And yet there, I sense there's this pushback or fear or fear of the unknown um, to get it to happen quickly. Um, what do you attribute the lag to? Um, so I think the, the real issue is um, having the richness of the data set that in TV that you already have in digital and yet at the scale of TV. So the, the thing that's missing is being able to do the things that people have gotten to love about digital in the 25%, let's say, uh, zone of their budgets and apply that to the other 75% in a way where they actually know that the impression that they delivered delivered some results. So, and we could prove that data today. We have the, the insights to be able to prove the value of TV advertising. Um, it's, it's the integration of those data sets that um, I would say there's, there's two reasons why we haven't moved that ball forward yet. 
Uh, one is the maturity of the data set on the TV side, um, and the other is the um, uh, the um, established TV industry doesn't really feel the pressure to change, or they haven't until 2014 upfronts, <laughs> um, where the industry actually continues to grow. It continues to grow at small numbers yeah, percentage-wise, but it's a very large industry. And like any industry, whether it's financial services or the auto industry or um, any industry that has had a long, successful track record, there's if they don't feel the need to change, they're not going to change. Uh, but now you see, especially in the last half of, of 2014, many media companies realizing that the old way of doing business is under pressure. Uh, and if they don't change their TV business, it's going to impact their overall business. So you've seen uh, Turner and NBC uh, talk about the new ways in which they're approaching data to support their ad sales. Uh, you've seen some turmoil in, the, uh, in, in terms of uh, people losing their jobs in the industry. Uh, so you've seen some, enough change uh, that the pressure is finally on TV to make those changes. And I think that's gonna be the most fundamental piece of this is people like us proving that there is a reason to change, uh, but then those big companies also saying, yes, I need to change, I understand that now. Um, so I think that's where we're on the precipice of, and um, I, you know, I don't think, it, I don't, I think in the next five years we'll see some dramatic change in TV, more so than you've seen in the 50 years of TV advertising, but even more so than you've seen in the last, say, five years of digital advertising. I think the whole industry is gonna make some major shifts.